right now, as it currently stands, Nate, who do you think has the worst roster in the NFL? Okay. Yeah, even if even if he was there, I mean, the Texans are really <laughs> bad, man. <laughs> it's it's almost like an number exper- one. It's almost an experiment on the idea of assembling a football team. Who who would be a favorite? The O two Texans or the twenty twenty one Texans? Expansion Texans or so? Here's 20- my thing. <laughs> The offense with Watson, if Watson was there, the offense would be passable. Like, Brandon Cooks is a good player. The offensive line, like, Tunsil's really good. They have other serviceable players up front. They have 17 running backs, so they could probably figure out (laughs) one of those guys to be a starter. I think the offense would be fine. It probably wouldn't be worse than it was last year. No, but it'd be above average. Yes, because their quarterback is so good. Yeah, the defense is about as bad as an NFL defense could probably be. Who's the best player on the Texans defense, Lindsay? I tried to find something good to tie. I the only two names I said, yeah, Merciless or Cunningham. And Cunningham became defending one of the past, so it's kind of like it's a brutal eh? situation. It's bad. They are they are in full scale rebuild mode, which is why the trade out for Nico Collins still is one of the more curious things that's happened in the last six months. But anyway. I think the Texans are clearly number one. Lindsay, is there anyone else that's in the running for you outside of Houston? Yeah, I mean, I think the the you know the, the bottom tier teams, the Lions, the Jags, the Panthers are probably just full roster wise. But I still I, I think there's a gap. They got some pieces. I I so have one. I am surprised. Okay, who is yours, Nate? That still that you think is in there? The Eagles. And the Eagles I, are pretty I, bad. I, yeah, and they have some nice players, players that I still think are decent, but they're all 30 or, or injured. <laughs> That's my thing, is the Eagles are – it's a, they're hanging by a thread. It's a very fragile situation. I don't think the Eagles have less roster talent than a team like the Jags, a team like the Jets, a team like even Carolina, but I do think that they're far more rudderless than any of those teams yeah. because they're expensive and they're not going anywhere. That's a good. But in way terms to put of it. pure roster talent, I think they have a little bit more than those teams. I think the Lions are in this conversation. Mm-hmm. There are there are aspects of the Lions roster that are actually pretty good. Like their front right. with Brockers, Flowers, yep. and Oquara could actually be pretty good. But yep. other areas in that team, like the receiving core is Receivers very is much bad. in flux. The offensive line is good though, so that's yep. why I would say that. The Jags are still probably worse. Like the Jags spent a lot of money on their secondary. I don't know how much better their defense is. Their defense is still a huge question mark. Yeah. I think the Jets could be okay. I think the Jets got a lot better this offseason. I'm going to talk about the Jets a couple times on this podcast, I think. But, yeah, no, I, I agree. No, but, uh, uh, yeah, Jaguars, yeah, I agree with the same thing. I was I was looking at some of the names. I was like, who did they sign again? Because I was hoping to like one of these names would really trigger. Like I was like, oh, yeah, I watched that guy. But I was like, oh, that's right. It's that dude. <laughs> <laughs> other than Shaq, you know. Yeah, it, it's fine. I mean, they – they, but for the most part, they still are – I think their offense can be pretty good in year one with Lawrence, but I think, I think their defense is a huge question mark. So a lot of the usual suspects in that group. 